I'm on semen retention. I'm on semen retention. I'm on semen retention. Yeah. I'm on semen retention, dog. Life so great. Won't you come and join me and eat a big old slice of this cake? My flow was tight. You want to come around when you see me glowing like Bruce Lee. And I got them kicks like Jet Li. It's your boy, man. The shave lion. King. I'm here to help you brothers get your glean on. on everybody. How's everybody doing? I just came to check in with y'all, man. I just want to rap. Nothing serious here, man. I just want to talk about semen retention some more, bro. You see, life is so much greater on semen retention. You're just happy, bro. You just feel good, man. I can't front, bro. I get up every single day, man, and I'm not even frustrated about what I got to do. Knowing there's just so much tall things to tackle knowing that there's just so much shit out here that we got to deal with on a day-to-day as human beings and i take the day slow bro i get up i make my smoothie i'm getting my fruits and vegetables in me right first thing in the morning i'm drinking on my gallon of distilled water bro right i'm feeling lovely i go to the closet man I look at the gear. I understand what the the image that I'm trying to portray to the world. All right. I'm trying to portray this image to the world, bro. All right. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be that somebody, man. All right. I live a living legend. There ain't nothing wrong with wanting to be something spectacular in this world. Don't let ever, don't ever let somebody make you feel like. You can't be as big as you want to be. This is your life, bro. Okay. This is your world. You take the you take the game by the reins, man, and you make your future. So that's how I get up, man. I get up doing my thing. I get up feeling good, bro. All right. I freshen up, man. Right. I do my get my shave on, bro. Right. Yeah. Getting feeling real nice, man. Iron the clothes. You know what I'm saying? This is what I do, bro, okay? And I step out with confidence to that door every single day. Confidence, bro. Like, what's going to happen today? Who who am I going to meet, bro? Who's going to come into my life today, all right? Because I feel like a million bucks. I feel like a genuine, like, like a million bucks, you guys, okay? I can't front, man. It's it's This is an amazing, amazing journey. And you guys out there who are choosing to sit back and play around need to understand, man, that you're wasting time, all right? You can just be happy in life, man. (laughs) You just take the things that come, bro. You're on such a slow pace, man. It reminds me of like kicking it back in the day when you're rolling around in your car, your mama's car, your, your daddy's car, and you're just playing the beats. And you really ain't got nowhere to go, bro. But you just feel so good rolling around, playing your beats. <laughs> that's life on semen retention. Okay, that that that's been the way I've been feeling. Okay, it's a wonderful feeling, bro. Like I said, I can't front how I feel in the morning. <laughs> I can't front, man. I feel so good in the morning, bro. Okay, that's like my favorite part of the day now. All right. And the funny thing is, man, you sleep so good. You know, you just sleep through the night on retention, bro, right? It's just one of those things, man. You just like to curl up in the bed like a baby, bro, and you're out. You know what I'm saying? You don't even really got to do much. But then you combine that with working out, you know what I'm saying? You combine that with doing all the other things like that, bro. And that is going to make sure, that's going to make sure that you have a restful night, okay? That's why, that's why I do it, okay? I work out. I like to go working out at least three times a week, get my pump on, get my muscles feeling nice and good, right? And then I'm able to sleep better, all right? And then I rise in the a.m., right, with all of this energy and all this confidence that I'm carrying from that last day with that last workout, right? That's another tool that I got on my belt that I know I have. I got confidence because I take care of myself, right? 
And these are all the things that retention does. It keeps you in order. It keeps your life, it keeps your life in perfect order, bro. All right. You, you become very structured. All right. And then you just do life and you just flow with it, bro. It's like I'm out here riding waves and I don't even surf, bro. <laughs> I don't even have a surfboard, <laughs> but I'm out here just killing the waves, bro. Right. I'm just surfing through life and things are coming to me, man. Right but I'm not being distracted. I'm fully focused, all right? And this is the beauty of it. It's like a remarkable power that the average man doesn't have. This is what it feels like, okay? It's just one of those things, bro, all right? It literally feels like you you, you just go into a, you, you know those games, those days you wake up, man, you may go to the gym and you just wet that day, right? You just wet, you just hitting everything. It's just nasty. Your jumper's just on point, right? Or, or you've been one of those people that you just wake up in the morning, bro, and you got that morning wood, and you just like, I'm about to go kill these weights. And next thing you know, you do, you hit a PR that day, right? This is what retention's like for me, okay? And and I know it's like that for anybody else who's gone on one of these long streaks, but this is how I feel, bro. I, I wake up in the, the, the day, and I'm just like, game is on point. I'm ready out here just to do what it is that I need to do, bro. All right. With, with all confidence, man. It's a beautiful feeling, man. All right. I just want you guys to understand that it's a beautiful feeling, man. All right. And then you look at the other aspect of it. Okay. That's waking up with confidence. You walk out the door. Now you're out here facing the world. Okay. You're out here facing the world, bro. All right. And we know in this world, man. All right. You got You got to have a frame, bro. All right. You got to have a frame. So when you're out here and you're meeting people, you know what I'm saying? People are going to respect you by the way you carry yourself, by the way you talk, okay? By your actions, all right? By your the effort that you put forward to whatever it is that you're doing in daily life, right? This is what people respect. It's like that, you know, the, 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 the first impression, right? This is what it's like. So you want to be out there with your chest out, bro. You want to be out there clean, representing yourself in a positive way, okay? You want to be one of these guys that reach out to others and just say hello, all right? Like I said, we're in this time right now, bro, where everything's kind of crazy out here. It's like they're pitting people against each other. So many people are stressed out about work and jobs and stuff like that, right? So you got to be one of these people with the confidence to be like, and approach these people and just just give them a compliment. Say, hey, how you doing? I'm having a, I hope you're having a great day. Okay. You'd be amazed on how somebody could be going through something, man. Right. And just the kind words and just being a high vibrational guy on retention, bro. Because like I said, you're just at peace with yourself. You're at peace with the world. And you just feel like you can make a difference. And that's the important part for me. Because like I said, man, my life has just been going greater and greater and greater. So then I'm outside, I'm walking around, right? I'm meeting people at the job. And, you know, if, if none of you guys have ever worked and had clients where you are using tools around them and you also have to speak with them, you know, in, in, a, in an appropriate work-like manner, all right? And you have these high profile position people coming in that you that you are performing services on. You know, it takes a it takes a, a extreme amount of calm. It takes an extreme amount of um, confidence to be able to deal with people in this type of situation. OK, and this is one of those things like I just literally am on I'm on coast mode. All right. I'm confident. All right. These people that are coming in here are, are really high prestigious, prestigious people, right? And they're trusting me to do services on them, okay? And like I said, I couldn't imagine if I was one of these people or I was back in the time where I was low on life force, life force energy. And that would cause me to be what? Very kind of like unstable, right? I probably would have had anxiety, right? I probably, you know, would be nervous and wouldn't have as much confidence, all right, from being depleted. But all these months for me, they just have came together so great to the point now where I'm out here, man, like I said, man, and things just come to me, 
I don't rush things. I don't try to force anything. All right. I'm just going with life, bro. All right. And it just feels like the wind is at my back, pushing me just enough to stay in front and stay ahead of the game. And this is so the the beauty of it, bro. This is the beauty. There's so many beautiful parts about retention, bro, that you guys will never, you're never going to experience unless you really, really try, bro. Okay. Like I said, it's just a, this is a, it's a peaceful type of life, man. I, I come home every single night and I'm getting stuff done. Um, I'm, I'm focusing on myself. I'm focusing on my health. All right. Especially at the time where a lot of people are getting sick, bro. There's another sickness going around, right? We know that's about to come back to fruition again, right? So we've already seen it beforehand. So these are all the things that it, it does to me. It gives me that energy, bro. It gives me that spark that I need, man. I'm telling you to do shit, to get shit done, all right? There's nothing else to do in this world but to waste time. Everything that they give us on TV is to waste time. Everything that we give us on the radio to hear is to waste time. They want you to waste your time. They want you to waste your energy, okay? Because if you don't, if you, if you, go, if you go the opposite route and you don't waste your energy and you don't waste your time, you're going to be one of these people that are in your mind. And this is dangerous, okay? Especially for a man on retention. This is extremely dangerous, all right? You're an extremely dangerous person, bro, right? Because your mind works to another level, bro. You're sitting here figuring out things. You're trying to awake people. This is what they don't want, bro. They don't want nobody to wake in this matrix, man, all right? This is why they give us all the shit that they give us. And that's why I love coming on here and giving you a different perspective from somebody who's gone on a long, long streak, okay? a long streak. All right. It feels like, I mean, I'm a mature man, so I'm not sitting here trying to down talk myself, but it makes me feel like I'm just a super mature male, bro. Okay. Super mature male. I am just, just in my own peace, bro. And I think this is what people dig. Okay. Especially the people, like I told you, I'm meeting the people at my jobs. They just dig me, bro, because I'm on a different type of chill, man. All right. I just don't. Uh, I'm very just alpha with it, bro. Um, I'm slow with my walking and my movement, but I'm in thought on every single thing that I do. And I take my time and I break things down. All right. And this is giving me that because now all I have to do is just force my energy on the inside and let it you know, reflect to the inside of, outside the world. This is all I've got to do. Okay. And it's been amazing, bro. Okay. Amazing. It's not what you guys think. So many of you guys think that this is, this journey is like punishment. It's not, I promise you, but I do promise you this. You got to understand you started out depleting yourself. You started out with habits. Let's, let's repeat that word one more time. You started out with habits, bro. Okay. And these habits are hard to break, all right? But understand, once your habits go away, man, what's going to happen is the life that you thought that you didn't have has always been there. But you have to put down these devices, bro, all right? And it takes some time. It's just like being on drugs, man. You're going to have withdrawal symptoms, all right? You're going to have these things that keep you in a pro lasting, you know, situation where you still are releasing your energy. All right. But eventually when you get the hold of it, or if you already have gotten a hold of it, it's just a matter of time before your light shines, bro. And you see what the hell's going on in this world from a whole different perspective. I'm telling you. And like I told you, it, it can happen for women too, but for you men out there, bro, this is the key, man. This is the this is this is the biggest code in the game, okay? And it only makes sense because think about it. We all born with the same tools, all right? If we take away and we strip this society away, right? And we're all down to just our bare essentials and what it is that we got. Guess what it is just what we got. We only got our bodies and ourselves. Okay? No clothes. We're just here. So therefore, we already have the tools that we need 
to be able to make sure and ensure our survival. It's all right there. Okay. I just want you to understand that it's all right there, bro. All right. But the problem is we end up wasting this energy and using it in bad ways. And this is what takes away from our glow. This is what takes away, you know, and, and the science even supports this. This is what takes us away from intellectually. Okay. This, this, this affects your intelligence as a man. All right. It's crazy on how powerful this energy really affects you as a whole, bro. All right. This is one of the only tools that you, like I said, the only one of the only tools that you need to help you get out of the hole. This is this is it, bro. You don't need to see no counselor. You don't need to go and go, you know, on no, 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 you know, see, have anybody give you opinion on your life. You don't need to have that. All you got to do is just break your addiction first, which is going to take time. Okay. There's going to be a push and a pull method going on there. All right. You're going to have to battle those demons, but understand, bro, like I said, once you do that push and that pull, that push and that pull, and you get a hold of it and you actually let yourself rebuild your, 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 your fluids up, bro. And you actually retain that for a long amount of time. You're going to do so much healing, man. It's going to be physical. It's going to be mental. It's going to be some amazing shit. Because it's going to be just like a rush of energy just go through your body, bro. And you got to understand, this is also happening on a spiritual level, all right? You got your guides, everything. It's like you you, you just grew, you grew up that day. That's basically what it is. And then now life from here on out is going to, ha is going to have a whole new meaning for you. You understand, bro, because you're not in all these uh, lower elements, these lower vibrations, these lower chakras. You see what's going on in the world. You see what's going on in other lives because you have now pulled yourself out of the hole and you're looking down on the rest of society, okay, and seeing what you just can't, you just crawled out of, all right? This is what it does. It elevates you, man, all right? There's a reason why there's only 1% doing it, okay? It elevates you. It gives you the energy. It gives you the will. It gives you the drive, man, all right? And I'm telling you, you end up conquering everything. There isn't one thing I can think of, guys, that can hold you back. All right. There isn't one thing that I, I, I've conquered it all on retention. All right. And I haven't, I can't say that about any other thing, bro. There was never one point in my life, bro, where I could just sit down and just conquer all the bad things I had. Okay. Never. But, what this does, it's a humbling of humblings, bro, because now you're not, you're not answering to these energies that are pulling at you. Do you understand that that's energy? Every single time you reach down in your pants, that's energy. You can feel it when you grab it. That's energy. It's built up. Okay. You have things out here that are affecting your energy, whether that's, you know, on the TV, you know, or, or, or kind of images that they got going around here, that's affecting your energy. So that energy automatically moves. And the problem is if you were just to understand that you just because it rushed down there doesn't mean you can't put all of that energy somewhere else. This is, it's really simple, but people just don't understand. It's really simple when all of that energy goes down like that, bro. That is the moment for you to either start moving, working out, getting on the computer and doing some work, writing down some thoughts. All right. I'm telling you, this is what makes you who you are. And then you start to see that there, you, just because that happens, that you don't need to do that. And if you think about every single time, think about it. If you think about every single time that's happened to you, bro. Okay. Think about it and think about every single time that you did something with it. Now, imagine if you were to just take all of that damn energy. This is what you don't get, guys. That is a ton. That is a mega ton of energy, bro. Okay. We're talking about the, the spark of life, bro. All right. Imagine it on a little scale. Okay. The most high. Imagine the most high when he created all of this. All right. 
that is the same spark, but it's it's at a smaller magnitude. That's that's your energy. That's the type of energy that you are letting off, bro. Okay. The equivalent would be like running like a, a, a 20K, 30K run, bro. Up up all kind of like crazy lands. Okay. This is energy draining, bro. Okay. And if you just were to take that energy, bro. Don't do nothing with it. Redirect that shit up into your body, up into your spine, up into your brain. And let that energy spark new motivation. You are unstoppable. Okay. It's a confidence that can't be taught. It's a swag that can't be learned. You are on point on what everything you do. Okay. You are on point, bro. I cannot make this up. This is how the the Lion King feels every single day. Every single day. It's like I'm guarding this, bro. Okay? And I see the value in what it is that I bring to myself. You hear that first? I, I bring the value to myself first. And then I give that same to the outside world. All right. And this is where you become, a, like I said, a very intuitive person to the point where you start reading people and you start wanting to make a change. And this is what you do. This is the mission. This is the people that, you know, that have made it all the way around the world, bro, and have left their mark from philosophers to writers to entrepreneurs to people. This is this is it. And you guys act like you're not one of those people just because there's not being a book wrote about you writing your book right now in the book of life. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. You guys want to clown around and act like life ain't for real, bro. When you leave this place, you're going to meet the creator, bro. And they're going to, he's going to have his book out in front of you of all the shit that you did. Why would you want to have your book filled up with nothing but garbage, bro? There's going to be so many people observing you when you leave this place. You, it, you don't get it. It's like you're going back to everybody. All right. And they're going to, they're observing you and you're living your life the way you're living it. Okay. You don't want to have that on your thought, man. I'm telling you, it's better on the other side where you just go and you focus over here and you say, you know what? I'm going to live good. I'm going to do things different. I know these things are bad. Why? Because I tell myself it, even though I ignore it. Okay. And that's what puts you on the straight path, man. And when you're on that straight path, bro, like I said, a different road opens up for you. And then you walk in it with confidence. You endure the journey and you reap the benefits of a better life, bro. Okay. A happier life, bro. A more prosperous life life bro okay there's that's money cannot buy the shit that i'm telling you okay it cannot but you got to understand it's all within you you can live this life you can live this great happy life where i have no vices holding me down and forcing me to do shit that i don't want to do what what do you think that's not good for that is amazing life bro amazing and you start to become someone because now you have knowledge, you have wisdom, bro. All right. You're making a difference. You're leaving a mark in this world. That's what's important, man. Okay. Uh, you listen to me, you follow me and I'm an OG on here and you know that. So I'm telling you what's important, bro. Okay. This isn't my opinion. This is what's important. All right. This is how you want to live your life as a man, bro, okay? You didn't come down here to not do nothing. You came down here to take over and leave your mark, all right? That's what you came down here to do, leave an example for these generations below us, okay? Because this, the younger generations, man, look what's going on, you guys. Look what's going on, man. This, the generations are getting worse and worse and worse. And it's a reason why, man, because a lot of, honestly, like I said, quite honestly, there's a lot of fathers that are not in the home, all right? And there's cracks 
there's cracks in everything around it, okay? And these cracks, they get exposed to these kids, man, and these kids start doing things that they shouldn't be doing at a young age. Just at the grocery store earlier today, and a little girl was in the store stealing, right? She was in the store stealing, bro, okay? And not only that was she stealing, bro, she was talking back to the people in the store that was watching her and catching her stealing, all right? It's just an example of what, what's going on in our today's society, bro, okay? Because of no leadership. And this is why our role as, as masculine men on retention is so imperative to the rest of the men in our society because we are going to be those people that stand out on the forefront, bro, all right? And rule, rule, bro, from a righteous position. Keep everything in line, all right? And be able to breed and have happy, healthy families, bro, that thrive, okay? We don't need any more drama, okay? We don't need any more hurt kids coming up in the society. We're going to be these people that once we get these petitions to sign off on no pornography on, on the internet anymore, no pornography being sold anywhere, okay? It's, it's a black market. It has to, it's going to have to go to the black market, bro, okay? Because we don't want to see that. We know what it creates. It creates perverts, okay? It creates weirdos, okay? It's people touching themselves. What do you think perverts and weirdos do? That's where they started. They started touching themselves and then they started touching other people. Okay. And that's what happens when you watch this pornography crap. All right. It does that. All right. Not only that, it fucking turns you into a degenerate. All right. It, help, it helps you lose brain cells. Right. <laughs> You're losing cerebral brain fluid. All right. You're dumbing yourself down. All right. Instead of smartening yourself up because because it goes both ways. All right. You can release it, and it's going to make you dumber. You can retain it. It's going to make you smarter, okay? There's no, there's no, you know, in between. It's one or the other, bro, and this is why we're pushing this because you have the money, all right? It's not like I'm sitting here talking like I got, this is all about money, and I have all this collection of money. You have the same amount of money as I do, okay? But you just need to understand what to do with it. Instead of spend your money, frivolously, foolishly, all right, by, by splurging every single day to the internet or splurging every single day to a female, all right, you save some of that money, bro, all right, and you save it until you want to spend it on something worth it, all right, something that's going to give you some return. That's the key with retention, all right. It's not out here. We're not playing a game of shoot. That's what the internet has done for us. That's what pornography has done. It makes you think that your, your phallus is a water gun and it's just meant to be shot around. This is what they do. This is, this is the bad leadership, all right? This is the, they jump off the bridge and the rest of you follow them, okay? Because this is what people think, especially the youth, all right? Single father home, single mother homes. These kids are going to be into this. You got to be watching for this, okay? This stuff is easy accessible accessible you know to any of these kids these days all right they have cell phones all right they got tablets all right it, they have a whole bunch of shit all right so you guys got to understand man that this is a big big problem all right in a whole and it's a reason why we push retention because this is going to eliminate most of this crap think about it all right we start getting all these people retaining. We start getting the smarter, smartest people in the strongest positions retaining. Next thing you know, we'll have a petition to completely wipe this shit off the internet. All right. But it's going to take more and more people to awaken to what's going on. We have to. All right. Because if we don't, then it's going to always forever be the majority. Okay. Of lost people. Okay. We know the internet numbers of how Many people are on the internet watching this every single day of the week, every single day of the week for who knows how many times, a, uh, you know, a day. All right. So we got a long mission ahead of us, but we do know one thing that as long as we retain our seed, bro, we can't be held back. You can't be held back. 
your life is going to be what you want it to be. Okay. That's going to be your purpose at that point. That's what you'll be living from when you're on retention and you're doing it the real way. You're now on your purpose. So if any of you guys are out there or sitting there talking to yourself and you wonder what your purpose is, you haven't hit your purpose. Well, I'm telling you, your purpose will easily show itself to you once you retain, okay, a, a, a serious amount of time, all right? It'll, it'll show itself to you and you know exactly what to do with your life. I promise you. And the first things that we always talk about is you look down right at all your addictions and your habits. And you start saying, I'm cleaning this up and I'm cleaning it up now. And that's the difference too, because you don't procrastinate, especially once, like I said, you've gotten up to a certain point where you've break, broken those addictions. There's no more procrastination. All right. You, you'll get serious on it. Like I did. You'll, you'll manifest it. You'll go get a book, bro. And you'll start fucking writing down shit about it. <laughs> this is what you'll do. Right. And that's giving more power to it. That's giving more power. Remember, when you write shit down and you manifest it to the world, bro, usually you're giving more power to whatever it is that you're putting your energy to. So you get real serious on this shit and you start breaking these generational curses. You start saying no to all, everything. You start saying even no to the food, the bad foods. It starts in every single category as retention. This is why this shit needs to be preached at a super young age, bro. And you need to, if you have, you know, young men out there, you know, you have younger sons out there, then they need to know about this information. Okay. Is imperative. All right, gentlemen, I want you to know that. And I just wanted to make this short. I'm going to start doing little short half hour, hour videos talking about retention, talking about the things that I've been going through. But like I said, man, the, the, the name of this video is life is great, bro, when you're on seminal retention, okay? When, I, when I'm on retention, bro, my life, it's so easy to see. It's like a book that I already read before. I can see it so vividly, and I just be able to put myself right in the positions that I need to be in, and it makes life go so much better. All right. I really want you guys to get on that. All right. And some of you won't. And I know why you won't, because you're not ready to change. You're not ready to put down those habits. You're not ready to stop eating bad food. You're not ready to stop smoking the cigarettes, to drinking alcohol. OK, you're not ready. And this is why you procrastinate. And this is why you come into these lives and you don't hit the like button, because you're one of those people that are sitting here wondering when it's going to be your time to jump on retention okay and the time is now honestly the time is now why because you ain't doing shit else you're not creating no families that are going to work for you and and build you know build you guys' family and your, your your generational wealth you ain't having kids for that you're out here wasting Okay. And we already talked about it. if you were going to waste, what are the options that you had to go and waste? And we talked about you should go donate your shit. Okay. Instead of out here donating it for free into a napkin, retarded. Donate it into a female that you're not going to get anything back, retarded. Okay. There's no other way around the board but the truth, guys. Okay. And eventually you're going to have to wake up. You can't run from this information. Okay, forever. All right. And if you do, you will be the one who'll be blaming in the end, bro, when you're not living the life that you want to live. Okay. So I appreciate you guys, man, coming in here tonight. You guys have a good night. And please hit the like button. Please hit the, the share button. I'm going to read these comments real quick and then we're out of here. Raul, how you doing, my man? Good to see you in here tonight, Raul. Appreciate you coming in and checking on your brother. My boy Swayze in the building. What's happening, Swayze? Swayze, man, it's lit. <laughs> you know, that's how we keep it, bro. That's how we keep it. I'm on real, I'm real semen retention energy over here. You too, man. That's why you feel it, bro. Appreciate you for tapping in, Swayze. I see the hair, bro. I see the hair, bro. Keep doing your thing. Your size looking cool, player. You stay in the gym. Stay on your hustle, Swayze, man. Thank you. 
Nick says, sheesh, two lives in a row. You on fire like NBA gyms, baby. He's on fire. <laughs> That's how it is. But no, I'm just really, I'm just here, bro, because these things are flowing through my mind. I'm almost on God mode. As much as you guys want to cap, and think that that's not real, bro. It, my mind, I told you this. Go watch my old videos, bro. I told you this, what happens when I get here. My mind starts just working crazy, bro. And I just start having a ton of ideas. And, and I just want to talk and get things off my chest. This is how I'm in. This is the feeling that I'm in right now. Okay. And you will experience that. I know my, many of you probably will never get to God mode in your life. You know what I mean? That's fine. But. You can't sit here and downplay anything that I'm telling you because I, it, I'm i in the experience. You have to appreciate the experience that people are going through and you have to humbly listen to what it is that they have to say and basically accept it, especially if you haven't been in that position yourself. Okay, but we have enough people out here, bro, that said they've done the things that we've done. Okay, there's been enough people out here to say they've gone the long numbers and long streaks to be able to tell you that every single thing that we're saying is the truth. All right. So there's no there's nothing out here to joke about. All right. So I appreciate you guys for coming in. Like I said tonight, man. Thank everybody for being here, man. And hit the like button, bros. I'll talk to you guys on the next one, man. Have a good night. Love you guys, man. Peace.